short video is intended to show the setup of a Cruise 12 Torque Link installation. First, we show the basic setup of a data link. Torque Link is a CAN bus. It consists of a backbone with terminators at both ends. Products like batteries and chargers are added via T-cable. If the components to be connected are installed further apart from each other in your installation, please extend the backbone using extension cables available as accessories. The T-cable must not be extended to ensure trouble-free operation. To ensure a correct installation, we recommend a clean cable routing in the boat, as well as clear labeling of the cables, especially for wall outlets. Pay attention to the orientation of the 8-pin torque link plug during assembly, and close all cable glands properly. Now we add Torquedo products to the backbone. In our example, a Cruise 12 and a Torque Link throttle perform the function of a terminator. Power 48 5000 batteries and chargers are connected to the backbone via T cable. For a Cruise 12 Torque Link system installation, two Power 48 5000 batteries must be connected. The number of chargers can vary. If you want to install more than two batteries, please contact Torquedo directly. If you use a different Torquedo throttle, for example, item 195100, please note the following. These throttles do not have the function of a terminator and are connected via T-cables to the backbone. The terminator is included with these throttles. The throttles 194900, 195000 are connected to the display. The display is connected to the backbone via T-cable. Let's take a look now at the installation of the power cables and charging cables. Starting from the main switch, there are two plus and two minus cables. Each power 48 5000 battery has its own direct connection to the main switch. The bolts used to tighten the power cables to the battery have a rubber cover to protect them against corrosion. Likewise, one charger is connected to each battery. Do not pinch the contact guard. The main switch must be installed in the boat in such a way that the connection poles of the switch are protected against contact, for example, in a console. It must also be ensured that the connector to the motor is not in the water, for example, the bilge. If only one charger is used, connect the positive cable to one battery and the negative cable to the other. This ensures that both batteries are charged equally. For the use of batteries with round poles, such as Torquedo 2435000, 24 AGM, or lithium iron phosphate batteries, we offer a connection set, 197900. In that case, Torquedo recommends installation by a professional to ensure that all required standards for your boat are met. The connection set 197900 contains the power cables for round contacts and the power supply for torque link. The cable for the power supply is placed in the backbone like a T-cable, and the cable is connected to 48 volt plus and minus of the battery bank. Please note, the Power 24 35000 battery only works with Cruise 12 Torque Link motor without communication. In other words, only in dump mode. Also, the existing TQ bus TQ CAN gateway does not work for this. How does the charging process work? For charging, the main switch is set to off and the chargers are plugged into shore power. The chargers will then automatically turn on the batteries only. Before plugging the charger cable into the shore power socket, make sure that it is sufficiently fused so that the circuit breaker is not being tripped. When using the fast charger 211200, you have the option of limiting the current consumption at the remote throttle. Before charging, in order to be able to drive, the charger cables must be disconnected from shore power and the mechanical main switch is switched to on. Now the system can be started by pushing the on button on the throttle and the boat is ready for operation.